Welcome, and thanks for checking out this video info session. This video will introduce you to the basics about OER project, including who we are, how to get started with our curricula, and what tools we offer to support you as a teacher. Founded in 2011, OER project works with educators, researchers, and academics to develop free online curricula. OER stands for Open Educational Resources, and they truly are that. Free to use everywhere, for everyone, forever. Our materials are used in thousands of schools across America, and many more around the world. OER project courses are designed for middle and high school classrooms. We review standards and create curricula that, when combined with teacher expertise, can fulfill most states' expectations. As students discover more about history, they'll also be working on skills development. We provide tools like graphic organizers, audio versions of articles, lexile level readings, practice questions, and skills progression placemats. OER Project supports you beyond the classroom with on-demand PD courses, year-round live PD sessions, and the OER Project online teacher community. The original OER project course, Big History weaves evidence and insights from many disciplines into a single, cohesive, science-based origin story. BHP pairs skills development with engaging content to provide a framework for all knowledge. BHP materials offer the flexibility to be used in various settings, from middle through high school, as a semester or year-long course, and as a social studies offering or an elective. Big History Project's content spans 10 units, one universe, and 13.8 billion years. The early units consider the deep history of the cosmos, our solar system, and life on Earth. As students encounter theories and evidence about our origins, they'll explore the history of knowledge and how we know what we know. In the second half of the course, students delve into the history of humanity including the evolution of complex societies and the technological innovations that accelerated the rate of change. BHP's content includes articles, videos, graphic biographies, and activities. Developed by historians and experts in their fields, they present a fresh, diverse, and inclusive account of history from a truly big picture perspective. Each BHP skills progression is made up of a spiraling set of activities that incrementally challenges students over the course of the year. Let's take a closer look at how we support skills development in the key areas of reading and writing, and how we help you assess progress. First up, reading. BHP encourages a three-close reads approach. Students will read each text three times, first by skimming it to get the big picture, then looking deeper at the content and its meaning, and finally, rereading to find their own interpretation. It might sound like a big ask to have students read something three times, but once your students get the hang of the routine, they'll apply it to everything they read. They'll have plenty of help, though. Every article is offered at a variety of lexile levels and in audio form. Downloadable video transcripts can further support student engagement and learning. BHP materials are even available in Spanish. Now, let's consider writing. BHP students have opportunities to write both formally and informally through activities, essays, and part of their summative Little Big History project. Each unit also ends with a writing assignment called an investigation. Modeled after document-based question assessments, or DBQs, these assignments mimic the kinds of prompts your students will see on other common performance assessments. On that note, each BHP activity, debate, essay, investigation, opening, and closing is designed to be a formative assessment. Many of these activities repeat over the course of the year. That way, students will become accustomed to exactly what they have to do and how their work will be measured. 
OER project course is built with state standards in mind. You can visit our teacher resources page to find standards alignment documentation, planning materials, and more for any of our courses. Over in the OER project community, you can also find state-specific standards info on our planning resources page. Everything we've discussed so far can be found on oerproject.com. Let's take a tour. The first page you will typically see upon logging in is the home page. It includes a list of longer and shorter courses, each with a summary of its content, suggested grade levels, and expected duration. Use the links to visit the course homepages, explore the Teaching This Course PD options, and view related community discussion forums. Once you've chosen the course or courses you'll be teaching, you can pin the course so that it appears at the top of the list whenever you log in. Doing so also reveals additional classroom management options. Now, let's explore one of those courses in more detail. Each OER project course is composed of numerous articles, activities, and videos, which are organized into a number of units, or ERAs in the case of World History Project Origins. Each number on the course home timeline represents one unit. Clicking a number opens a menu that allows you to visit the overall unit page or go directly into a lesson. Each unit is divided into lessons. For example, Unit 1 of Big History comprises five lessons. Let's start by looking at a unit page. The unit page allows you to quickly view all of the articles, activities, and videos within that unit. You'll also find a short list of teacher resources relevant to that unit. These resources include a link to Google Doc versions of activities and worksheets. This feature will allow you to share editable materials with your students. At the bottom of the page, you'll also find a few extra supplemental resources called Other Materials. These are great materials relevant to the unit that we just couldn't find enough room for in one of the unit's lessons. Speaking of, let's jump into a lesson and have a look around. The lesson view is where things get detailed. For each of the materials in the lesson, you'll find introductory summaries, discussion questions, and guidance to help you contextualize the subject within the broader framework of the course. You'll also find sample answers to many of the questions. Note, students will see similar guidance on the student site, but with student-facing copy and without those sample answers. Each lesson also ends with a set of practice questions that you may choose to assign students as a check for understanding before moving on to the next lesson. When you're ready to do that, just click Next Lesson in the upper right-hand corner. You can also use the breadcrumb menu in the upper left to get back to the unit page or home page at any time. Now we're on to the materials themselves. You're free to access OER project materials through oerproject.com, or you can download them to your local computer, Google Classroom, or other LMS. Additionally, each resource comes with a variety of accessibility options. We're going to check those out now. You'll notice two icons below each item on the site. The share icon allows you to email a colleague with a direct link to the material, copy a direct link to your clipboard, copy an embed code to embed the material on your own website, share the link to your Google Classroom, or share the link to Facebook. While the share icon options are consistent throughout the site, the download icons options will vary a bit depending on whether the asset is an article, activity, or video. For articles, you will have the option to download a PDF of the text as well as an audio version. One, big history, an overview. For the PDF, you can select from a range of Lexile levels. Higher numbers correspond to higher reading levels. A growing number of our texts are also available in Spanish. For activities, you'll find teacher and student PDFs in English and Spanish where available. Teacher versions include additional instructions and sample answers to the activity questions. For videos, you can download MP4s of the video itself, as well as a text transcript that students can use to follow along while they watch. 
You now know the basics of using courses and course materials on our site, but that's only scratching the surface of what's possible. Before we close today, we want to orient you to the navigation bar, which provides easy access to key areas of the site. Let's explore some of those now. Besides using the courses, you can also manage classes. Click View All Classes in the navigation bar to create a new class or manage any you've already set up. From Help, you can find links to our FAQ, Teacher Resources page, Support Forum in the Community, and our Help Desk email address. The Community link leads to the OER Project Online Teacher Community, a gathering place for new and veteran teachers from around the world. The community contains the following subsections. Forums, including groups for each course and unit-by-unit -unit discussions. The OER Project blog, which is updated every month with interesting posts on history and teaching practices. The Professional Development section, where you can view the schedule of upcoming virtual sessions and register to attend them. And planning resources, including state-specific course plans and alignment documents. Finally, in the navigation bar, you can check Profile Management. Clicking the profile icon at the far right of the navigation bar allows you to edit your teacher profile, change your password, and log out of the site. Thanks for spending this time with us today. If you're interested in a deeper dive into any of our courses, go to the Professional Development section to register for a live session with one of our experts who will help you put together your course plan. Take care.